I came here to stop you, Griffius. Nothing more. to those who oppose my divine will. I will not stand for this outrage. Feel my wrath. Look at you, a soparati, nipping at the heels of your betters. You are nothing. All you love will be ground under the Imperium. If you desire you death, you shall have it. There's definitely the supplies. You dare to touch an avatar of divinity? If you desire death, you shall have it. This ragged mage another ally? One more rat has emerged if you from desire the death, you shall have it. You cannot win, Corypheus.
Let it end here! Let the skies boil! Let the world be rent asunder! Yeah, and for that dragon. No, another dragon defeated, but it's for nothing. Oh, he's about to feel better again. Grant me power to finish this last right. What's that? I'm Not like this. I have walked the halls of the Golden City, crossed the ages. Do not, ancient ones, I beseech you. If you exist, if you ever truly existed, aid me now. You wanted into the fade. So that's him gone. What is it? I think oh my god, I'm like halfway down. So listen, your Are you sure? We could take the pieces, try to that would not recover what has been lost. Inquisitor, are you alive? The team. Then it's over. How lovely. And the sky is healed, healthy, whole. There's just that left to remember. Looks that way. What do we do now? Okay, well, what's time over? We go back to Skyhold. This must be why he's in the next one. There's a new one coming out next year. Or this year, maybe. I don't know.
<coughs> my agents have found no trace of Solus. He has simply vanished. If he does not wish to be found, there's likely nothing we can do. But I will keep looking. Why would he just leave? Something must be wrong. You said he was upset about the orb. That can't be the only reason. Now that Corypheus has been defeated, we have a moment to stop and celebrate. Afterwards, you will be busy. Every noble in southern Thedas is clamoring to meet you. The fighting is over. Why do they want to meet me now? <laughs> You're joking, yes? They wish to bask in the glory of your victory, hoping that some of it will rub off on them. Everyone knows Empress Selene owes you her life and her throne. A thousand problems remain. And your opinion will be sought on each one, whether you wish to give it or not. I don't see what the fuss is about. Corypheus needed to be stopped. And you are the one who stopped him. Previously, you were an upstart. Nothing more than a leader of rebels and heretics. Until Corypheus revealed himself, they could not see the single hand behind the chaos. Once he did, they knew. A magister and a darkspawn in one creature. The ultimate evil. Now you are the only power left standing. Enjoy the evening while you can, Inquisitor. There are your quarter. Okay. Well, here we chat with everybody first. Am I imagining it? Or do we have a moment to breathe? <laughs> I can scarcely believe it. The Conclave, Haven. It seems so long ago. You should hear the stories they're telling in the barracks. The pride in their voices. Some of the soldiers have requested leave to return home. But many would follow us still. You are proof that the Inquisition has made a difference. That we will continue to do so. Our soldiers put their trust in you, Cullen. I appreciate everything you've done. It's been an honor, <laughs> truly. I should let you mingle. I'm sure everyone desires your attention. Enjoy the party, Inquisitor. So now that you've saved the world, what's next? Hoping to put it all back together? It'll be a huge undertaking. If anyone can do it, you can. If you ever need my help, you know where to find me. I'll be ready. I've been starting to think about putting all this into a book. I'm thinking... This shit is weird. The Inquisitor Trevelyan story. What do you think? It's a working title. I'm glad you've gone back to writing. Well, nothing's certain until it's in print. I still haven't decided if I should do this book. As if anyone will believe this story if I tell it. Not to mention I'll have my hands full with reconstruction and relief efforts in the free marches as soon as I get back. Inquisition could still use you here. That's generous of you, but it's past time that I went back and took care of things in Kirkwall. I'm not leaving for a while yet, though. We'll have to get in at least one game of Wicked Grace before I go. I can't leave until you can bluff at least a little. So, demons, dragons, giant asshole vint on a big magic rock. You don't let it get dull, boss. Good stuff. You helped make it possible, Bull. That's what they pay me for. 
The Ben Hathrath are still worried about the Inquisition's power. Happy Corypheus is dead, though. I expect they'll call me back for a more detailed report. Not many experts on demons and old magisters under the cube. You're happy to go back to living under the cure. I think... Uh, yeah. Iron Bull was fun, but it's time to be Canary again. I think I'll be ready when they call me in. Corypheus was a busy guy. I figure we've still got some cleanup work to do. But not tonight. Tonight, we get shit-faced one last time. To us being alive, and the bad guys not. Ah, Anan. I couldn't come with you. He would have bound me, broken me, made me a monster. But he's dead now. So I'm safe. I'm glad to hear it. What happens next? Where do we go? It'll be interesting to see what comes next. Yes. Because of you. Thank you for letting me stay. Finally got a party, yeah? A bit of fun for saving the world. It's the least Andraste's Herald deserves for making things normal again. Except for... You know, everything ever again. I mean, is this for us or for her? Or, you know, him. Because I was there and I still don't know what's real. In the wake of this mess, people should think whatever brings them comfort. So, you don't know? Like everyone else? Fine. Put it all behind us. Still some things to do yet, right? Because I'm in no hurry to go back to... Val Rio. That's where I was. You mind if people still stay around? For whatever. This is home, if you'll have it. <laughs> Shut it, you. I cry, I'm punching everyone. All right, enough of that. Is this a party or what? Raise them for winning. Big freaking heroes, Inquisitor. All of us. <laughs> I was passing through the hall this morning, and a serving girl saw me and squealed. Actually squealed, dropped her laundry and everything. Such a mess. She was completely breathless. You were at the battle with the evil one, weren't you? I didn't even get a chance to answer. She hugged me. Hugged me. This is your influence. That's what happens when you're a hero. Is that so? Must be why it's so unfamiliar. Mind you, I can't say I hate the notion of being the good to Vinter. I suppose you can't all be evil bastards. The blacksmith said that, and he spat when we first met. I hope my father hears. He will shit his small clothes from shock, I swear. You're an example of how noble Tavinta could be. For southerners, maybe. Back home, they'll be rolling their eyes behind their fans. Meanwhile, they'll conveniently forget the bastards who wanted Corypheus ruling us all. I've decided to stay with the Inquisition. For now. You will? Tevinter lacks the presence of my best and only friend. It'll keep. Enjoying the refreshments? Josephine sent all the way to the capital for the Petit Four. I must remember to thank her for the trouble. <laughs> She's been craving the cakes from Madame Lucien's shop for months. This celebration gave her the perfect excuse. 
to you, Inquisitor, for all you've done. So much to do, my dear. I'll be returning to Valguayor to organize the Loyalist Mages. The Empress requires my expertise during what is sure to be a difficult transition. But that will wait. Are you enjoying the celebration? Josephine was in a frenzy arranging it. I'm too preoccupied contemplating what comes next. A moment of reflection, my dear. Will wonders never cease? Go mingle. The night is still young. I can't believe it's over. It seemed an impossible task. Defy the Chantry, build the Inquisition from nothing, defeat a creature that would be a god. And yet here we are, celebrating. So we should be. Defeating Corypheus was no simple task. He was so confident of his power, he could not conceive of losing. If he could, he would never have challenged me. And he would have gone into hiding. Yes, it worked out far better this way. It's odd, isn't it? I was almost certain the Maker was playing some cosmic joke on me, on us all. Yet you were exactly what we needed. No matter what comes next, I will remember that. Oh, I should never have hired my own caterer so late. Leave it be, Josie. Everything's fine. It is not! I'm so sorry. Nothing's quite as it should be. Oh, do you like the drinks? I'm not sure about them. The drinks are fine. It's been a wonderful evening. I hope you're not just saying that. You're not, are you? What a disaster. Late, the invitation to our guests barely went out at all, and, and it was so wonderful to prepare for a small banquet instead of the end of the world. Do you know what everyone is talking about tonight, from commoners to kings? Us. Vedas is discussing the success of the Inquisition. You played no small part in our rise to power. <laughs> you had a role yourself, if I recall correctly. Truly, we will never forget those we lost, but for tonight, to victory. I wonder if I can go to the work now. I can't go to the work table because I've got a crisis thingy in the door. Let me go to the work table. I don't even go to the undercroft or anything. Is it? Oh, something in here. That was a bit weird. said that Corypheus woke after his long slumber and found the world gone awry. He fought to bring back those days of magic and shadow, to raise himself as a god and set things right. Now, we are left with a scar in the sky to remind us of what almost was. It tells us that a great victory against chaos was won, but left the world forever changed. Consider the mighty empire of Orlais, where Empress Selene remains on her golden throne. The civil war is ended, the elven resistance pacified, but it is said Gaspar yet plots his return from exile. How long before the Empress missteps, and he raises banners once more? This fear 
hounds her every move. Fortunately for Selene, her gratitude towards the Inquisition has remained strong. Her subjects approve of the Alliance, even if some claim it is the only reason she yet clings to power. The Grey Wardens of the South slowly rebuild in the months following the events at Adamant. They declare it time for the Order to emerge from the shadows, to join the rest of humanity in fighting their ancient foes. Rumors abound that they severed ties with their leaders at Weishaupt, and that a bitter war now rages between them. What becomes of Stroud is unknown, save that all news out of Weishaupt soon ends. Does the sudden silence indicate a battle within, or something far worse? One month after the defeat of Corypheus, the Chantry names Leliana as successor to the Sunburst throne. Given the name Divine Victoria, she first declares an end to the Circle of Magi. The Mages will now govern themselves. She opens the priesthood to other races, declares support for the Inquisition, and rededicates the Chantry to the principle of charity. Divine Victoria is controversial from the start. Several new sects arise, resisting her reforms and declaring her rule a threat to the faith. She does not fight them, and it is not long before the Chantry's fractures threaten to tear it apart forever. The Inquisition's mages, the former rebels led by Grand Enchanter Fiona, are left with a choice. When Leliana disbands the Circles, they leave the Inquisition and reform the College of Enchanters as a new order. The College, they say, will allow mages of the South to gather in peace and seek new solutions to age-old problems. For the moment, it appears to be working. Mages are enjoying unprecedented acceptance throughout Thedas. And what of the Inquisition itself? Its web of influence is felt in every hall. Through diplomacy and the trading of favors, it has gathered the power to shake kingdoms. I leave Skyhold now, knowing that power will continue to grow. The Inquisitor is a symbol to many, a leader of the changing world order. To others, he has become a target. They linger in the shadows, waiting for their day to come. When it does, the Inquisition shall stand ready. Okay, there we go, Crevers. Cool. Take a while for only being one paid a couple of people at a time. I'm just going to quit these at speed anyway.
That was not too bad. Ten minutes almost. Okay. I knew you would come. Did you? You should not have given your orb to Corypheus, Red Wolf. I was too weak to unlock it after my slumber. The failure was mine. I should pay the price. But the people... They need me. I am so sorry. Oh, I am sorry terrible. as well, old friend. So she's possessed him. Okay, so we're all back to normal again. Cassandra. So, Liliana, should I bow whenever you come into the room now? The ceremony is not for a while. It will be strange to see you and think, there walks divine Victoria. Then let us enjoy these moments while they last, as colleagues. Or as friends. What's this? A breach in decorum? Perish the thought. Challenge him the edge of on the side. You styled your hair that way for ages now, Leliana. Why don't we do something new with it? I'm used to the way it is. What about our commander? He does something with his hair already. Oh, it does look very nice today. I don't know. <laughs> you mean it just gets that way on its own? Not entirely. <laughs> Let us begin. years later. Venture forth, why not?
Another parade, another bloody negotiation. Smiles, everyone. We must be careful how we present ourselves. Why did Divine Victoria call the Exalted Council? She's kept Orlé from bothering us for the last two years. At increasing political cost, yes. She has done all she can, but the Exalted Council has become necessary. Orlé would control us, and based on their many marriage proposals, they have specific plans for you. Our real concern is Ferelden. They would see us disbanded entirely. Inquisitor, it has been too long. I hope the years have been kind to you. How have you been, Mother Giselle? I spent last summer in Empreuse du Lyon, distributing food sent from the exalted plains. The Dales are finally recovering. Corypheus left a great deal of damage for us to repair. I appreciate your efforts. And I yours, your worship. I should mention that your forces at Suladin Keep were of great help. Please give my compliments to Baron de Chedin. Divine Victoria asked me to greet you on her behalf. She is currently attending to the Ferelden Ambassador's concerns. How do you think Divine Victoria has done these last two years? It is hardly for me to say, Inquisitor. With respect, that's never stopped you before, Mother Giselle. Sadly, with the Chantry still struggling to accept her reforms, Victoria's voice is not as strong as I had hoped. Nevertheless, I admire what she has tried to do. You can probably just call her Liliana in private conversation. You can. Inquisitor. I prefer to use her divine name. Our last divine once joked about why I insisted upon calling her Justinia. She called it my way of reassuring her that I had not completely forgotten who was in charge. I'll speak to Divine Victoria. I believe she would appreciate that, Your Worship. The divine sees the good that you can do and have done. Duke Zero will wish to greet you on behalf of Ole. I believe he is currently speaking with the Tevinta ambassador. Many of your friends have returned as well. I hope you have a chance to speak with them before the Exalted Council begins. The Imperium sent an ambassador. Yes, Your Worship. Dorian Pavas has taken the chance to return from Tevinta. It will be good to see him again. I owe him my apology. I allowed his father's words to sway me into lying to him. He deserved better treatment. You're going to apologize to Dorian? I have little patience for those who cannot admit they were wrong, Your Worship. Myself included. I will have to make my apology somewhere public. He will want an audience for his reaction. Who has returned for the Exalted Council? Your dwarven friend, Master Tetras. For one, I understand he spent much of the last few years in Kirkwall. Enjoy time with them while you can, Your Worship. I doubt you will have the chance once the Exalted Council is underway. Thank you, Mother Giselle. Your Worship, a final question, if I may. This Exalted Council, Ferelden would have the Inquisition disband. Ole sees its power as another feather in a Chevalier's helmet. What do you wish to do with the Inquisition? The Inquisition still has work to do. We 
can't let someone's fear push us into disbanding. Then I wish you luck in the negotiations to come. Make a watch over you, Inquisitor. I will not keep you any longer. that in another video. Goodbye.